Speaking of kids, today students interested in aerospace from around the state were able to compete at the Challenger Learning Center during this year's Avacom or aviation competition. Cassidy Byer has the story. You have people's lives, even commercial pilots, you have people's lives in your hands, getting them to one place to another safely. Not only were headphones on and student pilots locked in Friday afternoon during this year's Avacom, a competition hosted by the Challenger Learning Center, but everyone present had the opportunity to see what protocol looks like in real-time scenarios. Uh, I want to actually become a real-life pilot. Uh, it provides a lot of benefits. Uh, my plan is to go to USC and then enlist in the military. The competition allows kids in middle and high school a chance to see what it takes to be a pilot. Avicom is all about being able to determine who is going to be a safe, proficient aviation professional. Something Air Force JROTC member Alina Cruz has seen firsthand. Uh, we learned a lot of teamwork through these, working together, analyzing together. After competition in Charleston last year, this is the first year Avacom came to the Midlands. This year, uh, we chose Columbia for the venue. It was a uh, the sim lab that they have here, 25 stations, just an excellent facility. The students' knowledge in multiple subjects must be put to the test. So there's a lot of sneaky science, there's a lot of sneaky math, there's a little bit of sneaky social studies in there, but it, so it's all integrated and it's one of those real life skills that they have to be able to do. Which is exactly why Perry continued down this educational path and wants to be a pilot herself. I, I just stuck with it. I really felt like I could do it. So. And they gave me, they provide me the information and skills that I need to do it. So. Reporting from Columbia, Cassidy Byer, News 19, WLTX. The winner of the competition gets a grand prize of $2,000 that will go towards flight training.